Here comes the boy. Hello, boy. Welcome. There he is. He is here. Hey, guys. Hey, lads. What's the good word? It's been some asshole. Parked outside my apartment, blaring his bass recently. He's been doing it for like a few days now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's some jerk outside <laughs> with his car going, vroom, 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 vroom. and I'm like, buddy, that is so annoying. I just hope you guys can't hear it. I'm gonna hope that you guys can't hear it. That's the best case scenario: is you guys can't hear it. If you guys can't hear it, it will still annoy me, but it won't annoy any of you. He's trying to attract women, and does that work? Does that work to attract women? Maybe that's what I've been doing all these years wrong. That's where I've been screwing up. I just don't... <laughs> I don't have that base! Well, you know, they say it's all about that base. About that base, no trouble. They do say that. I've heard that at least a couple times. It's the opposite, actually? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I mean, it's annoying me, so it, you know, I have to assume it's probably going to annoy women as well. If me and women are annoyed by the same things. But how are you guys doing? How is everybody? It's a Wednesday stream. Gonna be checking out Bendy and the Ink Machine today. I hope it's fun. I hope it's spooky. I hope it gives me a fright. I hope it, it does me a good frighten. We'll have to find out. Did you guys see the new Smiling Friends? Smiling Friends was, a uh, was new on Sunday. For April Fool's Day. I paid... <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I paid $80 for Hulu Plus Live TV so I could watch the premiere live. Just dang, thanks for gifting those subs. I wanted to see the premiere live. This was a mistake. This was truly a mistake, because it was also, concurrently, streaming on YouTube. <laughs> so I literally wasted $80 because I wanted to see the new Smiling Friends that badly. They gave us a little, they gave us a little gag where they did some, uh, they did some puppet episodes beforehand. And that annoyed me. Not that it wasn't, like, you know, it was, it was cute and charming in its own way, but that, you know, at that point, I was like, well, these are older episodes. This, you know, these are just season one episodes. I paid eighty dollars to see season one episodes with puppets. Um, but then after that, after after a few of the puppet episodes, we did get a we did get one new episode from season two, and it was really good. It was really funny. Um, I should have been patient, though. As good as it was, I should have been patient and just waited, because I would have gotten to see it eventually anyway. There's a, there's a new character, there's a new Smiling Friends character named Gwimbly. Um, and I guess he's supposed to be like a, like an N64 character. Looks all pixelated like an N64 character. And, and there's, there's a part in the episode where he says, Man, if I had my Gwimbly gun on me right now! And I've been, I've been finding myself saying that around the house. It was really funny. Man, if I had my Gwimbly gun! Hey, old Snippers! That's disgusting. What are you, trying to do brain surgery or something? Get your finger out of there. You're gonna tickle your brain and give yourself a stroke. You don't want that. I swallowed half a shampoo bottle? That's disgusting. Hey Max, what do you think about Has Been Hotel? Uh, I haven't really seen it. Oh my god, Max, I'm inking? Great, thanks. Great, thanks. Don't know what I would do without you guys. Thanks. Oh man, if I had my Gwimbly gun, if I had my Gwimbly gun, if I had my Gwimbly gun on me right now! I fucking love that show. Smiling Friends is so fucking good. Oh. I think I've I, I think I've ranted and raved about Smiling Friends quite a bit. I'm so happy, I really am happy that people are responding really positively to it. 
It feels like, and you know, this this is a little this is a little dramatic to phrase it this way, but it feels like the good guys winning. The fact that people love smiling friends so much, that's the good guys winning. Um, because, it, you, you know, it is a very special show. It is it is very good. And it's nice to see that people can see in it with what I see in it, you know? It's such a breath of fresh air. It is. It truly is. I mean, I've spoken before about about how I wish the show was more, about how I wish the show was like perhaps more complicated. Maybe, maybe, maybe what I would need for, in order for it to to push it over the edge for me would be if it, they were um, if they were twenty two minute episodes instead of eleven minute episodes. I just kind of want it to be more complicated. Um, oh. Five euros from Texaco. Hey Max. Tell me why ain't nothing but a, but a heartache. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing but a mistake. mistake. Tell me why I never wanna hear you say I want it that way. He bendy on my machine till I ink. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. That one. That one's kind of cute. There's this character on Smiling Friends <laughs> named Alan. Um. And they haven't focused on him too much, uh, and he's, you know, he's kind of, he's, he's like just this big naked red character, and he talks like this. I was, I was spraying this homeless man with dirty water. Can I have my piece of cheese back, please? And they haven't, they haven't really focused on him a whole lot. He hasn't been, been featured too much. Um, but I'm super curious about him. And in the newer episode, it's, a uh, uh, Pim and Alan kind of, like, team up to go do something. And I was like, yes, this is it. I'm finally gonna learn more about Alan. But then, kind of based on the episode, it, it made me kind of realize that perhaps the character is, is more just, like, on the surface. He's not more complicated as I thought he might be. I think maybe maybe his voice is just kind of it. Um, I hope Alan gets more episodes. Uh, yeah, I hope that too. Um, I just don't know how much how much unfolding the show is going to do beyond what it already is. And then when I realized that Alan might be a little on the surface, then I, I thought, you know what, maybe this whole thing is kind of on the surface. Which might not be the worst thing, because I still really, really like it. It's still a very special show that I feel like I'm really connecting with. I, I enjoy it so much. But maybe maybe the lesson that I'm meant to take away from it is that... Um, in order for the show to be good, it, it doesn't have to cater exactly to what I want, and they should just be doing their own thing with it. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to articulate. Maybe Alan is just a man who talks like this, and that's all it is. But you know what? That's that's also funny. I love it. I love it. So, you know, maybe I should just stop complaining about it, because I do like it. I, I do really like it a lot. It's so great. I love the characters. It's so, it's so much fun to look at. It's a feast for the eyes. It's beautiful. It's got fun animation. It's hilarious. It's like one of the funniest shows ever. It's great. It's truly great. But I'm like... Ugh. I just want- I just want it to be more than it is right now. I want it to, like, expand in some way. I want to learn more about these characters. I want to learn more about this world. I want it to open up into something larger. You know? That- for me, that's what would- that's what it would take to push it from, like, a 9 into a 10. Um... Charlie in the maid outfit? Yeah, that was adorable. <laughs> Seeing Charlie wear the- wear the maid outfit. It was so great. 22 minute episodes would be great. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? That would be so great. But, I can't flap our gums about Smiling Friends all day. If you want to see Smiling Friends, go watch it. I give it my full endorsement. Everybody should see it. If you haven't seen it, if you can hear my voice right now and you haven't seen this show, you have to watch it. The first season is out. Second season coming in May. It's so good. Um, it has a beautiful, a beautiful art style. Really fun to look at. It kind of looks like... And I, I mean this in the most complimentary way possible. 
It kind of looks like if Newgrounds.com was a cartoon. It looks like Newgrounds on TV. Because it's very intricate and it has a lot of detail, but it's also like... Really like ugly and wonky and funny looking. Ugly in the best way. It's the best kind of ugly. Um... If you ever wanted there to be a Newgrounds, <laughs> a Newgrounds TV show, this is probably as close as we're gonna get. I love it. I truly love it. I hope, I hope, I hope it starts to go in a larger direction. In a more complicated direction. But, I, you know, ultimately I guess I have to accept that even if it doesn't, um, maybe I should just love it for what it is. And not for what I wish it was, so to speak. We do have to get into it, though. We do have to get into it a tad, a wee bit, a wee bit into it. <sighs> Everybody, please bow your heads and clasp your hands. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you feel it helps, go for it. I always start burping when I do the prayer. <laughs> I can't burp during a prayer. That would be, that would be obscene. What would relax us think of me if I burped during a prayer? <clears throat> Dear Relaxus, please help to relax us. Help us to sit back, unwind, unstress, decompress, breathe easy, hang loose, cool off, loosen up, and simmer down. Please bless us with mellow moods and chill vibes as we hang out, shoot the shit, and just straight kick it. Give us the strength to ignore politics, drama, and the tragedies of our modern world, and grant us the serenity to forgive those on social media who post things that make us triggered, upset, and emotionally compromised. And as always, help me to wish harmony to those who wish harm on me. Amen. Let's finish off our prayer today by doing some square breathing. This is when you inhale and outhale at similar intervals. If you don't believe that outhale is a real word, I invite you to check the dictionary. It is. It's in there. Outhale is a word. And we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth, and we're going to do a count of eight. If you can't breathe through your nose, using your mouth is fine, too. Starting off, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <sighs> anyway, anyway, oof, that does feel better. The square breathing makes me feel better, even though I'm, I, I can't, I can't follow along and do it because I have to do the counting, but still. Even so, even so, it makes me feel better. Even so. Back to t <laughs> back to talking about Smiling Friends and uh, some more. Did you guys know Smiling Friends is great? It's brilliant, and I love it. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you know Smiling Friends is truly great? It's truly special. I'm so happy for the people who make it. I'm so happy that that it seems to be so well received. I'm really happy about that. Like I said, the good guys win. You love to see the good guys win. If people make a good show, a, a really special show, then those people are the good guys. Although, I guess there, are, there have been really good shows that have been made by bad guys before, but... I'm gonna assume that the people who make Smiling Friends are good guys anyway. I'm just gonna, you know, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Do you guys... <laughs> this is a weird tangent. Do you guys ever have dreams about public figures, whether they be, like, celebrities or, 
musicians or content creators from the internet or whatever? You guys ever have dreams like that? Do celebrities ever pop up in your dreams? I had this dream. Uh, one of the smiling fr uh, cr friends creators is um, it's uh, Zach from Oni Plays. I had this dream once, and I don't remember much about the dream, so I can't tell you that much of a <laughs> can't tell you that much of the setup to the dream. But I had a dream that I was in a carpool and Zach was there. And for reference, I've never met Zach. I've never met him once. I don't really know him. I talked to him on on Twitter like a few times. I wouldn't say I know him. But I was I had I had this dream that I was in this carpool and Zach was there. But there were so many people in the carpool that we didn't have enough seats, and so Zach had to sit on my knee. Um <laughs> which is a little embarrassing and it was awkward and we didn't like it. But we were all, everyone in the dream was just looking around and we were like, okay, who's the biggest person here? Of course, it's me. I'm always the biggest person. Okay, who's the smallest person here? It's Zach. Oh, well, you, you know what you need to do then. Zach, you have to sit on his knee. And we're both just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and we weren't happy about it. And f once again, for reference, this is a guy I don't know and have never met. Oh. Five dollars from Tana Shoes. Wasn't Zach in one of your cartoons? Uh, was he? Oh, yes, he was. That's right. He was. Because we were talking on Twitter once, and he offered... He offered, uh... To do a voice for me if I ever needed it. And I was like, you know what? I think I can come up with a voice for you. And then I had him play the Goblinoid in, uh, my, fasc my fascism video. My fascism video has a, has a character that I refer to as the Goblinoid, and that was him. So yes, you are correct. You are correct, sir. He was in one of my videos. <clears throat> that was him? How could you not tell that was him? Of course that was him. When would you ever mistake that voice for anyone else? It's the most unique voice I've ever heard come out of a human. <laughs> anyway, anyway... Let's go over to the desktop where I'm sure nothing bad awaits me. Nothing bad ever awaits me. On the desktop. What other dreams have I had about people I've never met? I don't know if I can think of any. Oh shoot! Oh fart! Oh fuck! Five dollars from Zaki. Max, I have hey, Zaki. a confession to make. Every time you pray to relax us and ask us to join, I instead pray to my Judeo-Christian God. Um. Okay, well that that should be fine. I don't think that's too much of a problem. Also, I guess I'm not going to pretend to be angry about the AI Sonics on my desktop today because you interrupted me, but that's okay, too. I'll do it on Friday. I'll have plenty of more opportunities to do that. If you want to if you want to pray um, to the Judeo-Christian God, that's fine. But also, if you believe in the in the in in, in that faith, you can also pray to Relaxus without angering the one true God, Jesus Christ, Yeshua of Nazareth. Because Relaxus and Yeshua are friends. And so Yeshua would not would not be angered. He wouldn't mind. Five dollars from Roll Snippers. Big deal, Max. I have dreams of sitting on your lap all the time. Please do not be, please no lascivious super chats today. I am in no mood, I am not in the mood. Everyone behave. We're not gonna talk about sitting on Max's lap today. Yes, Max is a very large man with a very big lap that a lot of people could fit on, but I don't want anybody sitting on my lap. And also, in the dream, he wasn't sitting in my lap, he was sitting on my knee. It's different. Anyway. First Sonic of the day, we have Sonic on a, <laughs> on a game show, wearing a big goofy red bow tie. And I don't know if this is like, his fellow contestant, or this is the host of the game show. This could be somebody he's competing against, or they could be on maybe like the same team. Maybe it's like a trivia, a, a trivia challenge, and they're on the same team. This is so uncanny. Uh, we're we're in a we're we're sort of in uncanny valley territory, a tad. Yeah, uh, this is a this is a tad uncanny. I could see this. Um, he's got green teeth. 
You know, a lot of people have kind of yellowish teeth, but these are green. These look green to me. He's got green teeth and blue eyes. I don't know about that combo. Game? G-H-I-S. If that I wasn't there, it would say G-H-S, which is the name of the high school that I went to. Gloucester High School. In Gloucester, Massachusetts. Germa? You think this is Germa? This is not Germa. This is Germa to you? You guys see Germa when you look at this? Germa doesn't stream a whole lot anymore. And it's kind of a bummer because... He stopped streaming, like, right as I started to get into him. Which, for me, was a bummer. I started watching Germa compilations on YouTube, and I was like, This guy is funny, I should watch him stream. And then I subbed to him on Twitch, and then he's like, ah, I'm, you know, I'm wrapping it up, you guys. I'm slowing down with my streams, and I'm like, shoot, I just got here. That's no good. He looks like Bill Nye when he was young. Um, I don't know what Bill Nye looked like when he was young. When are the, uh, when are the Relax with Max compilation videos gonna start? How come you guys haven't made any Relax with Max compilation videos yet? Is it because I don't have funny enough moments? Five euros from Texpico. Hey, what's up? Maxi, love, why does the TTS now has the voice like sexy going back and not plankton? Also hope you don't get inked today. Sparkling we're trying, plankton. we're trying new things with the TTS, but Sparkling plankton might come back. Something I'm realizing about TTS is I wanted to see if I could find a service that works better, and I, I'm, I'm starting to realize I don't think any service works really well. Um, and if that's the case, I might go crawling back to Plankton. But if any of you guys want to make any compilation videos of Relax with Max, you know, that's fine. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna content ID you for it. You can make, like, you know, I, I, I would love to see a video titled, like, Relax with Max Moments That Live in My Head Rent-Free. Relax with <laughs> relax with max moments that I think about often. Maybe I'm not funny enough. Maybe I need to maybe I need to up my game though. I don't know if relax with max would lend itself well to that. From Peter Gunner. What would you call the smiling friends for in order to make you smile? They're obligated to do anything as the plaque indicates. What would I call them in order to make me smile? Is the question what would I have what would they have to do to make me smile? I, well, I mean, what would anyone have to do to make me smile? I'm not sure. It takes a lot to make me smile. I mean, honestly, just... If they wanted to make me smile, they could just put on an episode of their show for me. That always makes me smile. That always gets a chuckle out of me. It does take a lot to make me smile. Weird Sonic! And with the weird boys. Next up... Um, don't have don't have a lot to say about this image other than I love it. We got a classic Sonic here with the black pupils, my favorite. Um, it's got kind of like a pixelated look. It's got some 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 uh, you know like a sort of uh, like a sort of pink and purple color scheme. Very retro looking. Um, but yeah, it's cool. This is just a cool Sonic. Easy to categorize. We like those Sonics because they don't stand in our way too much. In with the cool boys. Next up. We have, uh, Sonic judging a Worst Sonic Characters competition. Featuring Silver and Amy. Now I- ooh. Blue Arms, oof. Points deducted. POINTS DEDUCTED for Blue Arms, unfortunately. Now, if you were to have a Worst Sonic Characters competition, I could see Silver being a contestant because I, I've always thought he's he's a little lame. Uh, I don't think I don't think that's true about Amy. I don't think Amy would have to be in that competition. I think Amy's a not bad Sonic character. She's been around for as long as Knuckles. I think Amy and Knuckles are about as old as each other. Um, Something I think people don't realize is the the reason it seems like there are so many Sonic characters is because it was such a, uh, a, a it was such a long-standing tradition that started all the way back with the old games that 
with each new game, there's a new character introduced. So Sonic 2 comes out and we get we get Tails, and then Sonic CD comes out and we get Amy, and then Sonic 3 comes out and we get Knuckles. Um Amy is way older. She's not way older. I think Sonic 3 and Sonic CD were in production like, like roughly at the same time. So I don't think she's way older. But they were always doing this thing where every game they would add a new character. And I guess they just didn't anticipate, well, like, you know, if you keep that up for long enough, eventually you'll have way, way, way too many characters that you don't know what to do with. And a lot of them end up being irrelevant. You know what? Let me ask you this. You guys. You guys. Thought experiment. If there was a worst Sonic characters competition for realsies, who do you think would win? Or I guess just a different way of framing the question. Who is the worst Sonic character? Who is truly the worst Sonic character? <laughs> Amy is 12. I stand by my my belief that the Sonic characters do not have ages. They don't. Charmy, Robotnik. No, not Robotnik. Charmy, maybe. I know a lot of people really hate Charmy. Um, I think it's mostly just because of his, his annoying voice. I think his design is pretty good. I like Charmy's design. Um, Cream? I don't know. I, I really don't know much about Cream. Shadow, because he's black? JK, I'm not racist. You know, when it comes to Shadow... When it comes to Shadow, I've always been very conflicted on Shadow. Um, I like Sonic Adventure 2, which is the Shadow game. The game where he was introduced. I like that game. But he kind of, like, dies at the end of it. And then later, they decided to start bringing him back, even though... He died, and bringing back a character after their death is always a big pet peeve of mine. Because it trivializes the scene in which that character dies. It trivializes their death. It retroactively makes it pointless. Um, and also, even though I think, even though I liked him in that game, because he was an important part of the story of that game, I don't, I don't think I like having him stick around. I think I, even though I liked him in that game, I would have preferred if he had stayed dead. I don't know if that's a hot take. It's probably almost certainly a hot take, because if I remember, Shadow is like the second most popular Sonic character. Um... Hey Max, can I edit your Shipwreck 64 streams? Uh, if you think you can edit them into something good, I never finished the game. But if you want, you can go for it. Yeah, Charmy is... Charmy is probably... Pretty hated. Um, Silver Silver always struck me as kind of lame. Blaze the cat is like a big nothing burger for me. I don't even understand what she's supposed to be. A lot of the characters are just like, here's a cool design. You know? They're not really any more complicated than that. Big the cat. Oh my gosh, I forgot Big the cat. Yeah, people hate Big the cat. I kind of hate Big the Cat. He's awful. <laughs> he's, he's, Big the Cat is rough. He's rough. He's rough around the edges. Poor Big the Cat. I, I, I honestly kind of feel bad for him. He's a little slow. You know, that Big the Cat, he's a little slow. He lags behind the other kids at school. He's a little slow. He's just a little slow. And, and everyone hates him for it because he's a little slow. That poor sweetheart. Shame on you. I don't, you know, I, I, I'm not sure if... <laughs> I'm not sure what he has, but he has something. That Big the Cat, he has something. I don't know if he's undiagnosed or what, but something's going on there. Weird. Weird Sonic. Last Sonic of the day, just four Sonics today. Um... This is amazing. This this is a very cool image. I love this. Um, I don't like that his middle spike is shorter than the other spikes. But I do like the big muzzle and the small forehead. Is, is Tails in this car? This little splotch of color here, is that Tails? Also, this car has three wheels on one side and, and no wheels on the other side.
This is a great image. This is this is a great image. I love it. Um Yeah, cool. Another another easy to categorize Sonic. It's just cool. In with the cool boys it goes. And now look at this. Spick and span, neat, clean, tidy and trim. A clean desktop is a happy desktop. It's so satisfying to clean up. And when you're feeling satisfied, you're feeling relaxed. Next time you're having a, a particularly bad uh, bout of depression or anxiety, next time your your mental health doesn't feel so great, force yourself to get up and do some cleaning. Clean your apartment, clean your house, wherever you live. Force yourself to do it. You won't want to do it, but force yourself. And then when you're done, you might feel a little bit better. A little bit. And you'll be like, oh, you know what? I do feel better. Love your vision board, cigarette hair girl. Max dear, since you like Sonic so much, have you heard about the Sonic High School? I'm familiar. I've seen it. It's a really good video. Of course, once again, I I really don't know how I feel about the Sonic characters having canonical ages. I know that we're supposed to be, uh, we're supposed to believe that they do. I know that we're told that they do. But they also, I mean, Sonic is 16, but does anything about him seem 16? I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've ranted about this before. He doesn't go to high school. He doesn't seem like a 16 year old. I kind of feel like these characters are ageless. You know, like Mickey Mouse characters or something, or like Looney Tunes characters. Um, now, usually what I do is I open up a game to make sure it works before I stream it. I don't play it, but I just make sure it opens up correctly. I haven't done that. I haven't done that today with Bendy and the Ink Machine, so let's hope this works. Don't know anything about this game, going into it completely blind. He seems anywhere from 17 to 25. Yeah, I would agree with that. He doesn't seem old. He obviously seems like a young person. Warning, this game contains whoops. How loud do I want this to be? Um, let's try negative... Try negative 8 point... Negative 8... Negative 8 8.6 dB. Any of the ink machine options? Okay. None of this none of this relevant just yet. Select chapter. Oh, wouldn't want to select chapter just yet. Um Max, how do you say hydrosity? I don't think you spelled it right, and I think the fact that you didn't spell it right slipped me up. I'm not sure how I would normally say it. People argue about whether it's hydrosity or hydrocity. It's probably hydrocity. I feel like that's probably what they intended. <clears throat> Dear Henry, it seems like a lifetime since we worked on cartoons together. 30 years really slips away, doesn't it? If you're back in town, come visit- Ooh, that's a big speck of dust flying across the stream right there. Damn, that's the biggest speck of dust I've ever seen! Oh, there it goes. I don't even know if you guys could see that. I saw it. I don't know if that's going to show up on the stream. If you're back in town, come visit the old workshop. There's something I need to show you. Your best pal, Joey Drew. All right. I hope this game is uh, keyboard and mouse, because I don't have a controller right now. Chapter 1. Moving Pictures. Ooh, beautiful. Alright, Joey. I'm here. Let's see if we can find what you wanted me to see. Ten pounds from Jazz. Hello, Max, my favorite bald person ever in chat. Sparking up in your honor today. Fuck yeah, dude. Have a dude. lovely rest of your day slash night, everyone. Hell yeah, you smoking that sticky icky icky. Fuck yeah, dude. Don't get addicted. Okay, I... <laughs> if you believe that marijuana is an addictive substance... I've heard so many people say it isn't, but I think it is. I had to stop smoking recently, you guys. 
The dancing demon. I cannot move worth a damn. I am so slow. I feel like a lumbering Frankenstein. This game really does not want you to... Does not want you to rush. Does the shift make me go faster? Or is that just in my imagination? Uh, e maybe a little. Maybe a little. We got some ink. Is that the ink machine dripping? Bendy in Little Devil Darling, presented in Silly Vision. Bendy in the Dancing Demon. Bendy in Sheep Songs, presented in Silly Vision, with Boris the Wolf. Probably can't go out the way I came in. I'm trying to. Is it the E key or is it the the click that makes it jiggle the handle? No, 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 no. Yes, it's the E key. All right. So I use E. I'm gonna be using a lot of E today. There's another. Also locked. Yeah, more like Bendy in the Stink Machine. <laughs> Art Department Ink Machine Theater Break Room. Oh yeah, baby, give me that sweet nectar. Oh yeah, let me drink that sweet nectar! Oh! Hello. Is my inky little buddy? Are you Bendy? I think that's Bendy. We can assume that's Bendy. Anything playing? No, guess not. Joey Drew Studios, and if I recall, I am Henry. Oh, I can, I can interact. Cool. Coolsies. You missed a door, did I? Hey, here's my old desk. I wasted so much time in this. Yeah, chair. this is where you were bumping the lamp. Bumping the lamp. That means animating for all of you dorks. Some nomenclature that I'm sure nobody is <laughs> nobody has used in a what nine Ten ninety years? From quadruple D. Give me the secret formula or I will destroy the relax like with Max live stream. Is what I would say if we had Plankton's voice back. Like I said, Plankton might be coming back. If I can figure out a way to get Plankton back, I will. Okay, so. This is a cartoon studio. Yeah! They make cartoonies here. Yeah. Not that I would know anything about that. I've never made a cartoon in my life. I wouldn't even know how. I truly wouldn't even know how. Do we need a bend a bendy in the toilet? In the toilet room? In the shitter? Could I have our shitter bendy? Briar label bacon soup. That sounds good. Made from a traditional family recipe, Briar Label bacon soup tastes just like the home kitchen, the home kitchen cooking that mom used to make, just the way the little devil likes it. Twelve cents. Twelve cents for a can of bacon soup. Who oh boy? Work hard, work happy. I don't think there's anything in here I can do. <laughs> no. No! Just no! Oh, I can jump. No. What if I want to draw a little picture of Bendy's head? No! Ah, oh, come on, I just want to draw Bendy's little head. We said no. Got a 
find something I can do in here. Oh, there's got to be something I can do in here. Max, have you seen the reference to goofball in Has Been Hotel? I don't think there is. Five dollars from Haydenson. Hey, Hayden. This is a case where the first game walked so the sequel could run. Okay. Also, I'm doing a cosplay of the projectionist this month. He's oh, cool. in chapter three. There's not a reference to goofball in Has Been Hotel. I would have. I I must have already heard about it if there was. There can't be. That's silly. I would be very surprised. Goofball needs to stay on the internet where he belongs. Ooh, there's some light coming from under there. But it's locked, so that's nothing. Also, how long is this? Is this gonna be a short stream today? I don't have anything else prepared for after this, so. Oop, dead end. Ink output schedule. Probably four hours. This is a four-hour game. Five chapters. Four hours, five hours, six-ish hours, four to six hours. All right, well, then maybe I can do half today and half next week. Output, ink output schedule. Interesting. They are measuring ink in gallons. Whoa. This lift could use a few dry cells. This does not look like a uh, cartoon studio anymore. Five dollars from Michael J. Out of all the games you've played, which one do you think has the best art style? Um, ever? In my whole life? Or just, or just recently while streaming? Or just while streaming, period? I don't know if I can answer a question that broad. There are so many games with art styles that I love. I love the art style and there, old friend. Love the art style in Wind Waker, The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. And then they made the remaster and they made it look even better. A lot of people thought the remaster didn't, uh, you know, they thought uh, they kind of overcorrected, but I thought it looked great. What the fart is that? That's a weird giant contraption to have in a cartoon studio. Is that that? Is that how they bring the cartoons to life or something? What am I looking at? New objective: turn on the ink machine. Tip: locate the power station. They bring in cartoon characters into the real world with this, with this strange, ghastly machine. A machine that bastardizes God's law. A true bastardization of the laws of God and man. Ooh. Door open. Okay. Everything around here is looking kind of samey. And I'm wondering if that's going to make it hard to know where I'm going. Bacon soup. Love it. Is this doing anything? Guys, what does the soup do? Max is turning my ink machine on. Who boy do I love when I look at the chat because I ask you guys a question. I ask you guys a question and I look at the chat and the first thing I see is somebody being weird. Weird. Health? Okay, they're health. Bacon soup is health. So unless I need health, I should probably save them. Which is bad. Because I just ate them all. The Illusion of Living by Joey Drew. Sure. Sure. Always on time. Another day, another dollar. Back to the old grind. Back to the old grind. Another day, another dollar. Another day, another nickel. Don't forget to punch in. It could save your job. Definitely can't go that way. That way is truly nothing. Gonna have to go back the way I came. Have I not gone this way? I'm already getting confused with this map. Every hallway looks the same. Oh, 
Ooh. What the fuck was the point of that? Are you trying to spook me? I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid of no dang plank of wood. Why would I be afraid of a dang plank of wood? That ain't scary. All right, how do I get this to work? Wood ain't scary. You think you could just drop a little plank of wood and I'll be afraid? Fix the ink machine. Low pressure. I ain't a scared. You think I'm a scared? I ain't a scared of you. Ooh, why? What? What? Why? What? 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 Why? What and why? Why would I be a... Oh. Yeah, who put this here? Why would I be afraid of a cardboard cutout? Ridiculous. Ridiculoso! Ridiculoso! Oh Joey, what were you doing? Joey, what were you getting up to? Joey, what you done in here weren't right. Look what you done to Dippy Dog or whatever, whatever this fucker's name in. Who's laughing now? Boris the Wolf. Look what you done to Boris the Wolf. Weren't right what you done to Boris the Wolf. You shouldn't have done that to him. He's just a boy. I take that thing out of your chest? Yes. What do I do with it? Do I have item menu? No. No item menu. I'm gonna call him Dippy Dog, I don't care. Boris the Wolf, my ass, he's Dippy Dog. You ain't nothing but a damn Dippy Dog. Another bendy. This one might have been there before. Probably was there before. You ain't nothing but a damn dippy dog. Henry, what'd you do to dippy dog? Henry, what did you do to him? Cog. Okay, so I'm guessing I go back to that machine from earlier. is this way. I have wrench. I Oh, it's gone. Coolsies. This thing, this old thing. It just needs a Oh, wait a minute. We have pedestals. Cog goes here. Yes. Wrench goes there. Yeah. Book. Teddy Bear or Teddy Bendy? Musical note, no idea what that could be. And ink. Hmm. So now I'm just kind of, uh... Do some scavenger hunt bullshit? Is that what I'm doing? This is gonna take forever, though. Whew. <laughs> Why was that loud? <laughs> Don't be loud. Alright, alright. Come on. I gotta look. I gotta look around. Of course, the, the fact that this place is like a maze is only going to complicate things. Um, looking for a book. Looking for ink. A bottle of ink. Oh, wait a minute. I did see a book. There's a book down here. The book that was written by a uh, whole bunch of books, actually. Here we go. The Illusion of Living by Joey Drew. There's a book. That's a book in it. Oh, that's a horrible book in it. Oh, that's a horrible book. Boop. Back to the old grind. Do 
I go this way or do I go this way? Ooh, here's something. You know, ooh, maybe I haven't even been here before. Answering machine? At this point, I don't get what Joey's plan is for this company. The animation sure aren't being finished on time anymore, and I certainly don't see why we need this machine. It's noisy, it's messy, and who needs that much ink anyway? Also, get this. Joey had me to have donate something from our workstation. We put them on these little pedestals in the break room to help appease the gods, Joey said. The cartoon gods, yeah. Wally Franks. Everyone knows you have to appease the animation gods. Ha! Ah! What? Why? Stop it! Don't. No. Oh my god. This game has the goofiest jump scares, and yet they're still working on me. <laughs> Deathmatch, 10 goofballs versus 5 rabid ghost possums. Um... Probably the 10 goofballs, yeah. Probably the 10 goofballs. And we have the screening room. Hey, a little bendy! Perfect! Okay, okay. Ink pressure. Let me go back and see what else I need, because I don't even remember anymore. I haven't... Uh, I haven't gotten the ink yet, so I know I still need ink. I think towards the beginning was, like, the animator... Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you, you got me. Fair enough, you got me. Towards the beginning was, like, uh... The animator cubicles. No ink here. Okay, so, book, got that, Bendy, got that, I have no idea what the musical note would be, an instrument, some kind of musical instrument, and a bottle of ink, an inkwell. But where, where? Three. Five euros from Septic Ghost. What's up? The music note means that you have to collect a vinyl or a radio. I don't remember. A vinyl or a radio? <laughs> well, if you don't remember, then you're not very helpful, are you? A vi you mean like a vinyl record, an LP? Okay. Or a radio? Just sending me a super chat to say I don't know. All right, it's fair enough. But yeah, an LP. Five dollars or... from Zaki, Max. Do you know what they call people like you, dreamers? Because you look like you just stepped out of mine. Thank you. The fuck? Who was in here? There's the LP, though. I stepped out of your dreams, huh? Well, you might say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. Someday, so what are the words? Someday you will come and join me, and then the world will live as one? You're a dreamer because you stepped out of mine. Flattery will get you nowhere. Oh, it will get you nowhere. It will get you nowhere, my friend. This place is so confusing. It's like a maze. Art department. Yes. There's a place where I'm going to find ink. That is where it shall be. In the Department of the Arts. Joey Drew Studios. Is he kind of like the Walt Disney analog in this? Or am I using the word analog correctly? 
The Walt Disney analogy? Walt Disney stand-in? Where's that ink? Where be the ink? I don't see any ink. Got the LP, all I need is the ink. Somebody posted a clip uh, this morning on Twitter of me playing Baldi's Basics and being just absolutely terrible at math. <laughs> and I get that it is funny. When I'm t Ooh, there it is. Gotcha. Okay, I get that it is funny when I'm so, so very bad at math, but I have a learning disability, maybe. Perhaps. Or I have number dyslexia. And would you laugh at somebody else with a learning disability? I think not. Yeah, I'm bad at math, so what? Big whoop, want to fight about it? Just because I have number dyslexia doesn't mean I'm not a highly intelligent man, because of course, yes, I am a highly intelligent man, as everybody knows. Truly, everybody knows that about me. Ink machine. That's that way. This way? Yes, this way. Let's hurry it. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. And boom! And boom! Now I just need to get the ink flowing somehow. Should be a switch around here somewhere. Yeah, could it be this one? Do you think the switch could be this one? Oh, I get that that's not the right switch. Where is the right switch? I don't know where it is. What if I just did the whole rest of the stream with that voice? All the way up to the end of the stream. Just didn't stop doing it. I'm not going to stop doing this voice. I don't care how annoying it is. Just the entire thing. Hey guys, it's me, Bendy. I love hanging out in my ink machine. That's why they call me Bendy. I feel like I shouldn't get farther away from the weird contraption while looking for the switch. But where is the damn switch? I do not know where it is. It's not in here. You would think that this would be the switch, but this switch isn't it. So I don't know where it is. I guess I had to look elsewhere for my little switch. Not in there. I mean, wait, that's not my voice. Not in there. I'm talking like this today. Hup. Ink, can I use that? Fart. Herm. Big Herm. Gonna have to give a big Herm to this. I don't want to. Five dollars from Just Ank. Random up? Newman stream confirmed. <laughs> Keep it up, Mr. Newman. I'm glad to see you making stuff other than Toy Story soundtracks and bad cameos kisses. But I love my Toy Story soundtrack. Is he on cameo? Is he on cameo? Can you pay five dollars to have him talk into his phone for you? You got your friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. 
You just remember what your old pal said. Boy, you got your friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. <laughs> Bigger and stronger too. Maybe. But none of them will ever fuck you the way I do inside your butt. I don't... I can't find it. I have no idea. I'm truly out of ideas on where it might be. <laughs> Dippy Dog, explain yourself. Explain yourself, Dippy Dog. Also, if you're here, does that mean cartoons real? Cartoons came to real world if you're here? What does this mean? If you went to Walt Disney Studios <laughs> and you went into the animation department and you walked into a room and you saw Goofy strapped down with his chest open and his ribs sticking out, what on earth would you think? What would you possibly have to, to assume about that? How could you interpret that? You'd think, what the fuck? I can't believe they did this to Dippy Dog. Standard an animation department inclusion? That's how they get their ideas? That they did a good job? Go to the Dippy Dog poster. Five dollars from Cream Fan 442. I am alive and mortalized. You're the creator, you traitor. Hey, there's no vaccine to cure our dirty needs. For now, you must build up our machine. You die tonight. Uh, I don't know if that's if those are music lyrics, and you were hoping I would sing along to it, but unfortunately, I don't. I'm not familiar with whatever that song is. The poster does not do anything. Poster does nothing, truly nothing. Hmm. See, like once again, I, I feel like getting getting farther away is the wrong choice to make. Don't want to, don't want to do that. But then what? There's a poster. Nothing. Maybe one of the posters in this room. No? Hmm. Herm. She's gonna start tapping on everything. Tappa, tappa, tappa. Tappa, tappa, tappa. No. No. Fart. And I definitely can't push this. Can't push that either. Five dollars from Just Ank. Stop saying weird stuff to Randy Newman chat. It's not nice to confuse him from his singing and heavy drug use. Be nice chat. Is Randy Newman on drugs? I mean, let him be on drugs. Who cares? Let the man use drugs. Heavily. That's fine. He makes music for Pixar films so fucking good. He can do all the drugs he wants as far as I'm concerned. I won't let you, I won't let you, I won't let you throw yourself away. Boom, 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 boom. I won't let you throw yourself away, my good friend, Dippy Dog. Alright guys, you might have to just tell me. You might have to just tell me what to do. I'm running out of ideas. I can't believe they did that to Dippy Dog. Go to where you found the plush? I don't even remember where I found the plush. But you know what, I guess? Even though it feels wrong, I will just have to get farther away from that room. This was the room where I found the record. Yeah. Locked. This? Nope. Locked. I'm looking for a switch.
switch down here. Oh wait, maybe this the switch. Always on time. Nope. That nothing. Not a bad idea though, if I do say so myself. And I will. I will say so myself. I will say not a bad idea. That's nothing. Dreams come true. Where did I find... Where did I find... That's where I started. I started, I walked in here. I came through here. Turn that on. Maybe I found the plush in here somewhere? This game is a lot of wandering. It's a lot of wandering over yonder. Go to the projector room. Do you mean the theater or do you mean the room with the projector in it? Probably the... Probably the theater, because I think that was where I found the plush. This room has a projector in it, but that's wrong. Theater is this way. It says so, right there. Ink machine. It's not down there. It's th this way to the theater? Yes. Okay, I'm on to something. On to something. Ooh, stop! No! Stop! No! Don't! No! No! You're being silly. Don't jump scare me with silliness because then I look like a we I look like a little sissy pansy. If you're gonna jump scare me, do it with something that is reasonable to scare me. Please! Please! Oh. <laughs> oh! Movie time? Do I just watch it? Probably not. What is that? Something weird going on there. Game and it's silly ass jump scares. Here's something new ink pressure. Ugh. Bendy, did you make that mess? Bendy, are you pissing your ink all over the floor, you filthy little mongrel mutt? Is that what you're doing? Shame on you. Alright, low pressure is uh, rectified. So now, new objective, turn on the ink machine. Why is the music scary? Music is scary? Uh-oh. Ready. Ink machine is ready. Nobody behind me. Good. Boop. Hey, let there be light. Ooh. Oh, that was just because I stepped out of the light. Okay. Alright, alright. Oof. Did you look that spooky before, Dippy Dog? Did the lighting change? Dippy Dog, I can do nothing for you, son. I can do nothing for you, son. Dippy, I'm sorry about what uh, what that guy done to you, but I can do nothing for you, son, now. Oop. Okay, well, this is- Black! Oh, shoot! Fuck me! <laughs> A shift run, shift run. Okay, shift running, shift running. Where do I go? Uh, boo boo boo, Bobby boo. <laughs> Bendy, no. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Oof. It's all right. I'm not wearing the heart monitor today. <laughs> oh, Hudgy, 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 Hudgy. Bendy, no. Damn, Bendy. Was that Bendy? I don't know who that was. I don't. Know, I don't even know if that character is Bendy. You're some kind of idiot. So the point of the machine is to just make ink? Or does it bring cartoons to life? Or what? Or the cartoon characters use it as lube to jerk off? To jerk off their little cartoon dicks? Ah oh, yes, the ink is draining. You would never need this much ink. Not for cartoons, you wouldn't. They were up to something. They were up to something weird. <laughs> Five euros from Texaco. Max, don't die. Chippy, 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 chop, ha, chop, ha, do, be, do, be, da, ba, da, ba, magico, me, do, be, do, be, do, boom, 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 chippy, chippy, chop, ha, chop, ha, do, be, do, be, da, ba, da, ba, magico, me, do, be, do, be, boom. Pixel, did you just delete your own message? Just saw you write a message, something about cartoon jizz. The, la the last lines were cartoon jizz, and then you deleted it yourself. I can't believe my mods have to ban their own comments. How ridiculous. There we go. Drain. Drain the cartoon jizz. Oh, you gotta riz them with the jizzum. New objective, clear a path. Tip, an axe may come in handy. It may, but I don't have one, except I do now. This will definitely come in handy. Give me your axe, please. I am Alan. From the hit show Smiling Friends. I cannot wait to play Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bonk. Bonk. Five dollars from Joey Pepperoni. Joey Howdy Pepperoni. Max. If you could have a lifetime supply of anything, what would you want? Beautiful women who want to have sex with me? I don't think that question is... <laughs> I, I think that question is a tad more open-ended than you realize. Do you mean like a lifetime supply of a product that you can buy? So, like, a lifetime supply of anything that you could get at, like, the grocery store, or Walmart, or you could buy on Amazon, like, that kind of thing? Hmm. It might just be most convenient to you to, to want a lifetime supply of something that I know I'll always need. Like a lifetime supply of toilet paper or something. But that would be... That almost seems like woefully unimaginative to say I want a lifetime supply of toilet paper just because I know, well, you know, like logically I'll need toilet paper for the rest of my life. I will. Maybe I should want a lifetime supply of something that I can flip for a profit. <laughs> Money? Money is too obvious. That can't be right. Money obviously is exempt from this because that would be too obvious. What the fuck were they up to? What is going on there? Were they doing rituals? Were they doing rituals with Dippy Dog? Were they worshipping the Dippy Dog? Whoa, oh, what was that? Huh? Ooh, yeah, ooh. They were doing Dippy Dog rituals. 
those bastards. Everyone knows you don't, <laughs> you don't summon Dippy Dog. It says that on the Bible, page one. Genesis one, chapter one. Do not summon Dippy Dog. Everyone knows. Kind bar break. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Press on. See if I can find a way out. Only one thing I can do. Take out Dippy Dog. You never summon Dippy Dog. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. You don't fuck with Dippy Dog. <laughs> Now, if I recall, if I recall, Dippy Dog was Goofy's original name before he was called Goofy. But since they don't call him Goofy anymore, does that mean they no longer have a copyright on Dippy Dog? Can I make a cartoon character right now and call him Dippy Dog? Am I allowed to do that, or will Disney get mad at me? Fuck you. You bitch. Fuck you. Hey, it's his banjo. It's it's Dippy Dog's iconic Dippy Dog banjo. You remember that episode where he said, "Oh man, if I had my Dippy banjo on me right now, I gotta get me my I gotta get me my Dippy banjo." I see you, my savior. I pray you hear me. Those old, those old songs, I still, I still sing. It doesn't say yes. It doesn't say yes. Fuck you. Love requires dippy dog. I said, can I get an amen? Are you in the room? Did I say that, or is there someone else in the room? Oh no. Is there someone else in the room? <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Was that me on the recording? No, it's the voice of Sammy Lawrence. Train going by. Casey Jr.'s coming round the hill, come to bring a thrill to every Jack and Jill. But love requires sacrifice. See if he says it again. Can I get an amen? Nope, only once. You know what? I'm just gonna assume that was me that said that. You've been worshipping that dippy dog. You son of a bitch. Everyone knows. It's blasphemous to worship the, dis the dippy dog. You don't worship that dippy dog. Work hard, work happy. You can't summon the dippy dog. Hello? Excuse me, can you help me? Hello? Maybe it was him? Hello? Where the hell did he go? You know, for a game that doesn't involve you getting hurt pretty much ever, for a game in which I haven't gotten hurt once, there sure are a lot of health items pretty much everywhere. But okay. Ooh. 
Need to get power to this gate somehow. Should be a couple switches nearby. Somebody's building a shrine then to maybe Bendy. Maybe I can open it. Redirect power to the gate. Okay. Oh, that dippy dog. I love that so much is destructible. That's great. Yes. Let me destruct. Smashy, smashy. More games should let you just destroy everything. I could have sworn I already broke you, but, you know, whatever. You can come back if you want, I guess. Boop. Button is press. There's another. Boop. Button is press. Is there one more up there, or did I pass the last one? I need three. And, yep, this is the dead end. Okay. Time to turn around, go back. Five dollars from Terence, Oswald the Dippy Terrence. Rabbit was Walt Dippy's first creation, then when Dippy Versal took ownership <laughs> he created Dippy Mouse. In 2010 he returned an epic Dippy. I don't know about that, I think you might be... I think you might be confusing some of the details there. Also... What's the, what's the real story? Walt Disney conceptualized Mickey Mouse, but it was Oob Iwerks who designed him? Is, the, is, is that right? Might be correct. Okay, so there's one. So we have one. The second one is over there. You know, not to get too political. Um, not to get too political. But over the years, uh, more and more people have begun propagating this belief that uh, Walt Disney was a Nazi, or that he was he was racist or anti-Semitic, and. I, I, I went out of my way to look into it once to see if it was true. And from what I from what I from what I could tell from, from my research, that didn't it didn't really seem like there was any kind of compelling evidence to believe that whatsoever. Now if you want to make fun of Walt Disney, I guess people just propagate that rumor because it's like it's like a funny joke that they make on like Family Guy and Robot Chicken to joke about like Walt Disney the secret Nazi. And I guess it is kind of funny, but it's also kind of unfair to him <laughs> that he dies and then people start this horrible, terrible rumor about him being a bad person. If you want to make fun of Walt Disney, there's plenty of actual stuff that you can use. Like, for example, Walt Disney said, and I quote, I love Mickey Mouse more than any woman I've ever known. So, you know, do something with that. Do something with that. That's like a... You know what? I, I can tell. I'm gonna get close to this, and something's gonna jump out. I can tell. I can tell. Here it comes. Where is it? Come on. Oh, nothing? Really nothing? It's really dark in here. Walt Disney was weird. He was a he was a weirdo. He was a weird guy. He was eccentric. But I don't think he was bad. I don't think he was a bad person. I think he just genuinely did want to kind of like entertain people and make the world a better place. So I don't know if Looks I think like it's fair to start a bad rumor about I'm him. I'm gonna get out of here. I need to find a way to drain it. He was trying to design a utopian society. That's what the uh, the Epcot Center at uh, at Disney World is. They kind of took like Walt's vision. For a utopian society and how it would work, how it would work and how it would function and how it would be laid out. And they were like, "Well, this will, you know, we're we're not going to do this for real anytime soon, but 
it could make for a good uh, a good theme park attraction. Okay, so nothing down that way. I came in this way? Yes? Yes, I came in that way. The stairs is where I need to go. Oh my gosh, there's that fucking base again. Hey, is it girl Bendy? Bendy in with Alice Angel. She sings, she dances, sent from above. This is uh, Bendy's girlfriend. We have girl Bendy. Girl Bendy confirmed. Check up this way. Ooh. Anything? Does this one just do nothing? Every day the same strange thing happens. I'll be up here in my booth, the band will be swinging, and suddenly Tammy Lawrence just comes marching in and shuts the whole thing down. Tells us all to wait in the hall. Norman Polk. He starts up my projector and he dashes for the projection booth and down the recording studio that the little devil himself was chasing behind. A few seconds later, the projector turned on. But Sammy, oh no, he don't come out for a long time. This man is weird. Crazy weird. I've got half a mind to talk to Mr. Drew about all this. I really do. But then again, Okay. Ooh. Were you there before? Big guy? I don't like I don't like all that blackness that's uh, very unnerving. I don't trust that dark. Can we swing at it? Nope. I can turn it on, but it doesn't do anything. Let's get out of here. This is locked. Okay. Running out of directions to go in. This, full of ink. Music department. Did I do this one yet? So first, Joey installs this ink machine over our heads. Then it begins to leak. Ew, gross. Three times last month we couldn't even get out of our department because the ink had flooded the stairwell. Joey's solution. An ink pump to drain it periodically. Now I have this ugly pump switch right in my office. People in and out all day. Thanks, Joey. Just what I needed. More distractions. These stupid cartoon songs don't write themselves, you know? Five dollars from Choco Ghost. I think Disney tried making some perfect Disney neighborhood in Florida that ended up backfiring if I remember correctly. Yes. What was it called? Oof. It's it's gonna it's gonna drive me nuts not knowing what it's called. I'm sure there are probably like four or five or six YouTube do YouTube uh, video essays about it. But they did. It had some really goofy schmaltzy name like Pleasantville or something dumb like that. Running out of ways to go. Alright, so there's nothing this way. This is locked. That's nothing. Ink from there. That's cute, I like that. Everything squirts ink. So much ink, what did they need all of this ink for? No one man would need- ooh, up, up here. No wait, this just leads up here. One man would need all that ink. Why do they need all that damn ink? This is locked. I can go down here, but I'm guessing I won't be able to open the door until the ink is drained. Yep, nothing. Interesting. Very interesting. This... Oh, did that turn the lights on? Okay. Oh! What? What is? What are? Who? When? Why? Where? 
Sometimes how? <laughs> you guys aren't you guys aren't incredibly scary, but I would prefer if you kept your distance. Are they done? Oh, nope. No, no, no. We got more. These guys are a little scary. You can be a little scary as a treat. Oh, there's another. Gotcha, gotcha, bitch. All right, now that the lights are on, let's try exploring a little more. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Don't. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents from Little TV and hey, what's up? Maxi. It's me, Tarrant. Kiss, 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 ha ha. Mm. My smooch has given you the common cold. No. Suffer. Fuck no, no, no! It was unconsensual. Don't kiss me if you have the cold. A word of caution, if you please. Don't kiss a cat if it has fleas. Everyone knows you don't smooch when you've got a cold. Okay, there's a cartoon going. Guys, don't kiss me if you're sick. I want to watch the cartoon. I really just want to watch the damn cartoon. But... I know I shouldn't. Because I have something... I have a, I have a, a video game to figure out. Oh, this is open now. Okay. The pool table. Hmm. Hey. I like that. Oh, I like that. That's a nice little attention to detail. That's fun. So there was nothing in there. This room... This room seems like it might be something. I can't get down there. Hmm. $9.99 from Little TV and It's alright, Maxi. We are now suffering together. Anyways, how was your Easter? Because personally, I just had a cold the whole time. Uh, how was my Easter? I didn't really celebrate it. Um, what did I eat? Did I eat anything special? I think I had, I think I had just like a few bites of a chocolate bunny and that was it. I think I was, I was shopping on Easter and I was like, oh, a chocolate bunny, I should eat one, it's Easter. Everyone knows you eat a chocolate bunny on Easter. And I bought it and brought it home and had a few bites and I was like, alright, I'm done. I'm trying to eat healthy. Of course, now that I'm not smoking weed anymore, that's gonna make eating healthy a lot easier. If you're, uh, if you're trying to cut, if you're trying to lose weight, you're trying to slim down, and you're also smoking weed, I know you don't want to hear this, but if you give up that weed, you'll be a lot less hungry overall. You'll have, uh, you'll have less of those pesky cravings. Today I didn't even eat till noon, um, just because I, like, completely forgot to eat. I get so hungry when I smoke weed, I'm just starving. I'm starving all the time. Is this new? This is a new direction to go? This wasn't here before. This looks new. I guess this must have opened up. Ah, oh, yes, the organ. Open this. Yes. Happy, sad, disgust, angry. They all look quite similar. Looking quite similar. Not a... Not a large array of diversity in Bendy's expressions, unfortunately. This kind of has a static face. Sammy Lawrence, music department director. Well, there's the pump switch, all right. That's one hell of a leak blocking the door, though. That? I could just stop that ink from flowing. 
Maybe I can get in. If I could just drink all of the ink, then I could open the door. Dinner or something. Oh boy, let me tell you, I'm out of here. I'm sick of walking around in this animation studio looking for Bendy. I'm sick of Bendy and his confounded ink machine. Oh boy, let me tell you, I'm sick of this bullshit. To get the ink to to stop flowing, but I feel like I need the pump control for that. But the pump control is in there. How do I get in there? Oh boy, I've had it up to here when I bend you in the ink machine. Oh boy, let me tell you. The lighter side of hell. Okay. This way, I have not. I have not been this way. Infirmary. Notice: anyone found faking illness will be docked a full week's wages. Not sick, not paid. Um. I almost feel like that's that's entirely fair. You shouldn't be lying to your boss about whether or not you're sick. If you don't want to work, then just quit your job. Oh, if it's very dark in there. Very dark. Very scary. Do I plunge? Nope, this is just ink. I, th <laughs> I thought this was a bottomless pit. It's just ink. <sighs> Can't go any farther. Interesting. Is this... No, that's locked. Hmm. Hmm. Max, please, please say the ooh, ooh, ooh thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And from the, uh, from the new Smiling Friends. I love Gwimbly. Gwimbly is great. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hope they bring him back. You know, they could do an episode where they bring a lot of the characters back. All the characters that they've helped, they've helped throughout all the episodes. You could bring Gwimbly back, you could bring the, uh, the Mike Staclasa character back. I swear to God, if I had my Gwimbly gun on me right now! If I had my Gwimbly gun... This game is slow. I feel like, uh... Oh, this is new, okay. Alright, this is new. I have not been in here yet. So this is new. It may only be my second month working for Joey Drew, but I can already tell I'm gonna love it. Oh my god, I love working for Joey Drew. My Alice Angel voice. Sammy says she may be as popular as Bendy someday. These past few weeks, I voiced everything from talking chairs to dancing chickens. But this is the first character I've really felt a connection with. She's a part of me. Alice and I. We're going places. Alice and I, we're like brothers, only closer. Alright, I have an idea. Hopefully this works. I'm gonna get the cartoon playing. I'm gonna run around, back down there, and I'm gonna start wailing away at that piano and see if that solves some kind of puzzle. See if that solves something. So I'll be playing music on the piano as the cartoon is going. That's gotta do something, right? That's gotta do something. Come on, Bandy. Cartoon is going? Yep. <laughs> Was it nothing? Did that not, uh, that didn't work? Fuck, I thought that was a good idea, too. I thought I was gonna be playing music to the cartoon. This 
one I can... I was gonna say I can barely hear it, but I don't even know if I can hear it at all. Can't open that. Check the trash cans? Oh, a banjo. It's Dippy Dog's iconic banjo. I don't see any trash cans around. I guess this might be a trash can? There's nothing in it. Herm. Like I said, this game feels a little slow. I was kind of hoping I would be making uh, progress a little quicker than this. Try one more time. I guess this isn't the solution, but I'll try one more time. Hit that. Run as fast as I can. Hold the shift key. Circle around this way. And through here. Let me try hitting the banjo, since it's right here. Nothing. Truly nothing. Perm. The game isn't the slow one, Max. Oh, shush. Oh, you shush up. You shush your mouth. You spoiled brat. I'm trying. Game's not really giving me any direction. I want to know how long it took you to figure this out. You think you're smarter than me? You think you're smarter than me? Joy is smarter than me. Morgan. Alright guys, what do I do? I'm stumped. Stumped again. I'm gonna be stumped a lot today. Oh, there's a violin. Or a fiddle, whatever you want to call it. Bruh, my grandma is faster than you, brah. Alright, well... Is she some kind of video game expert? <laughs> Poor Sleepy Max. I'm a little sleepy. A little sleepy. Five dollars from all snippers. Remember that time some guy donated like 300 bucks and you hardly reacted? I giggled and farted. That was so funny. Did that happen? I mean... I'm very thankful, um... Always on time. I'm very thankful for such a generous donation, but at the same time it's like, you know, what do you want? You want me to get down on my knees and suck your dick? Do you want me? To, do you want me to? Do you want me to throw a celebration? Do you want me to pause the game and be like, "Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you for your generous donation! Oh, oh, I am but a humble wretch, undeserving of such a donation. It pleases me so." I think I saw another comment saying, "Check the trash cans and look." keys. But where do the keys go? Keys to what, I wonder? Keys over here? No. I mean, what is an appropriate reaction when somebody does that? I mean, it, you know, it's kind of the point of this whole thing. When there's a streamer that you like and you want to donate to them because they entertain you. You know, it's mostly meant to be transactional. I get a lot of entertainment value out of your content. And so I want to I wanna kick you a few bucks. As part of that transaction. But I don't... You know, it's not like it's been established how a, how a streamer is supposed to react when that happens. I don't think anybody truly knows. Five dollars from Gummy. Hi, Micah C. Balki and Woda Yun Yu Han Gao. W-A-N-Q Yu Han Ku. I need a thibo. Okay, I didn't understand that. I'm not quite sure if that was English that you were speaking just then. Um, but I'm sure that whatever you said... Yes, there we go. 
I'm sure that whatever you said was very complimentary, and so I thank you for the compliment. Every artistic person needs a sanctuary. Joey Drew yeah, autistic is. people too. Bass, bass, banjo, drums, bass. Yeah? Okay. Bass, banjo, drums, bass. Bass, banjo, drums, bass. I know there's something I've got to do in here, but I feel like I'm missing something. No, don't say that. Bass. Banjo. Drums. Five dollars from Just Inc. Five hundred for a sloppy toppy is a good price, Max. Some people only charge one hundred, so you got that going for you. What are what the fuck are you saying to me right now, motherfucker? Sloppy toppy? What are you saying? What 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 are these words coming out of your mouth directed at me? Shame on you. I don't know what you're saying, but it can't be good. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents from Little Tvent. Hold on, if you're offering head game, consider yourself a millionaire man. I'll drop a hundred for head. <sighs> Sorry, guys, I don't do that no more. I ain't. <laughs> I ain't no sugar daddy. Those days are over. <laughs> Remember that from the Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> there's an episode. <laughs> there's an episode of the Powerpuff Girls. Where they try to ask the mayor to pay them for saving, uh, for saving Townsville. And they ask him for a thousand dollars, which... In my adulthood, I now realize is perfectly reasonable. Considering how much the Powerpuff Girls do for Townsville. To ask for a meager one thousand dollars, that's nothing. Especially to the mayor. And he says, I ain't no sugar daddy. Those days are over. Oh... <laughs> uh. I don't know why that just popped into my head right now. <laughs> I ain't no sugar daddy. It was like the biggest mystery of the Powerpuff Girls. Five dollars from Gummy. Hi, Micah C. Woting Shuago Sloppy Toppy Yixi Mahu Da Shang Yi. Wo you on ye gal mai. Is that... Is that Chinese? Or Mandarin? Or, 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 or what is that? I, I don't even know what language that is, but you know what? Even though I can't understand your super chat, as long as I'm getting those, as long as I'm getting that five bucks, I ain't gonna complain, sister. I assume you're a sister. I, I ain't gonna complain, brother. Okay, so I'm guessing that because the drum, let me turn the volume up. Oh wait, the drum does make a noise. I was gonna say, because the drum doesn't make a noise, I'm assuming I have to find, like, a, a piece of it that's missing. Hey, Wolfo, what's up? Boom, 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 boom. But when I walked into the room, he said, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe the video needs to be playing? There's a million dollar idea right now. Okay. So, I turn the video on. If I recall, it was bass, banjo, drums, bass. Video is playing, cartoon is, a uh, Cartoon is up on the projector. Yeah. Bass. Banjo. Drum. Bass. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Who's stupider than your grandma now? I know how to solve puzzles in video games. Boom. Ba boom 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 Sing a happy song while whistling a merry tune. Wait for his arrival, he's coming very soon. Wolfo, don't chew on that. Wolfo, don't make me get up. Hey! 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 Stop it! Hey! Stop it! Don't chew on that! 
<laughs> Tattoo mentee here. How do you stay motivated to draw and not scrap it repeatedly, struggling to finish a few flash designs? Well, I do thank you for the question, and I thank you for the super chat. However, um, I don't draw. I'm not an artist. I think you have me confused with somebody else. I mean, I've never made a cartoon in my life. I wouldn't even know how. Ooh! Bendy. Bendy, you stay away from me, you motherfucker. You crazy sucker mother- Oh! You guys can- You guys can stay away from me too. For so for whatever reason, I'm not as scared of you as I am of Bendy. You're not all that menacing. Especially since I just give you one whack with the axe and then I'm good. You behave yourself, young man. Oh no, another one that I... that I destroy with a single click of a button. Still ink coming out. Still can't open it. Um... Hit this again? Another nope. day, another dollar. Maybe I shouldn't have left. I'm gonna go back. I don't think I was supposed to leave. I haven't been in there yet. Hello. Bonk. Not a whole lot in here. Here's some weird whispering. Fifteen dollars from Gravity Balls. Hey, what's up? Max, I've been watching on and off. I'm not doing so great. I'm oh, going I'm through a lot actually. So thank you for being around to help me keep my mind off all my woes. Mm -hmm. Your streams truly are relaxing. Hey, no problem. I'm glad to help. I need to turn... And, and on, honestly, really, that does that does make me happy to know that, um, that I'm helping you in some way. I think we all, you know, all of us, need a little, need a little escape from things a lot in our lives. I know that I do. It only stands to reason that other people do as well. We all need to get away and, and get our mind off all of our worries. And thank you for the super chat. Okay, so... I, I hit the one wheel. So now it would, it would stand to reason that I would have to hit another wheel. Enough! You guys are pathetic! You guys are lame! I'm not scared of you. <laughs> oh, you're pathetic! So I need to find another wheel, maybe? A second wheel? Or a valve? There's truly nothing in here. Come on, one more valve. Guys, is there another valve? Am I looking for another valve? Still doesn't work, right? Nope, nothing. Okay, so you're saying yes. Oh, this is new, okay. The infirmary. Our spick and spam infirmary. Where all our wounds. Hail to the Camp Krusty, below Mount Avalanche. Down here? Ooh, I see somebody standing out there. Who are you? Show yourself! I'm not afraid of you, you coward. Down here we're all sinners, well speak for yourself. 
Been well behaved today. <laughs> Are you what? Is that one of the ink monsters wearing a hat? Are you wearing a hat? The sheep will come to slaughter. Interesting. Can't go this way, I'm guessing. Nope, can't go that way. Alright, Ink Monster has my valve. Okay, Maxie dearest, I'll be leaving now. Well, take it easy, friend. Thanks for joining us today. Even though we will miss you in your absence, I'm sure somehow we will sally forth and carry on. What is with your... that goofy bowler hat? Come over here, you son of a bitch. Where are you? Where'd you go? I see you, you son of a bitch. Watch this. Guys, watch what I do. Oh shoot, you, <laughs> you're supposed to be underneath that. Career Apollo, thanks for gifting those subs. It's very nice of you. You were supposed to be underneath that, genius. Okay, stand underneath it, please. doesn't want to stand underneath it perfectly. That's the problem. Oh, wait, wait, is he? Is he underneath it? All right, let me try this again. Please work. Yes! Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. Already taking that. Nice hat, though. It was a nice hat. Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Um. Oh, there we go. I don't know, uh, I don't know if this is, a uh, if this is what this game was going for, but it almost seems like a horror game for kids, which isn't, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, I kind of conceptualize Poppy Playtime as a horror game for kids, but this almost seems like it's for an even younger audience than that. Because it's kind of light on scares, and the atmosphere isn't, uh, it's not too foreboding. not a lot of tension. I, I, I think like a like a nine-year-old or an eight-year-old would like this game. Of course, I don't know if they could solve the puzzles, though. Return to Sammy's office. Okay. You got it, bub. Bub, you got it. The old pump and dump. I love that music. Ooh, I love that fancy music. Don't go that way. Let's go back to the stairs. Oh! What happened? Bendy. It's Bendy. Fuck. Fuck, it's Bendy. There we go now, nice and tight. Oh, you're not Bendy. We our sheep roaming away now, would we? Sammy Lawrence. No, we wouldn't. I must admit, I am honored you came all the way down here to visit me. 
Why are you dressed like Bendy? It almost makes what I'm about to do seem cruel. <laughs> maybe, maybe don't do it then. Must honor their savior. I must have him notice me. Wait, you look familiar to me. Buddy, can you back up? That face. Not now. For our Lord is calling to us, my little sheep. You mean Dippy Dog? Our sacrifice is at hand. And then I will finally be freed from this prison. This inky, dark abyss I call a body. Shh. Quiet. I didn't say anything. Listen. I didn't say I anything. Him crawling above. Crawling. Let us begin. The ritual must be completed. Pal, I ain't doing no damn ritual with you. Soon he will hear me. He will set us free. Somebody just said, Max, are you still the crinkler? Well, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm the original Skibbity Crinkler. I don't like those odds. Are you summoning Bendy? No. No. No! Oh, I don't think it's happening here. It's happening for him. He's getting attacked by Bendy. New objective, escape, escape Bendy. Where is he? Where is he? Stop, uh, stop, my axe is gone. Stop it, my axe is gone. I'm leaving, I'm leaving now. Oh, I can't go this way though, I don't have the axe. Fuck, shoot. Stop, nope, oh shoot. Oh, that looks so cool. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it's very mesmerizing. Oh wait, I can, I'm controlling this! Traversing some kind of an inky portal. Oh please let- please let me- please let me wake up in Cartoon World! Is this taking me to Cartoon World?! Oh my god, I would love that. What happened? This is- no, I'm just back here. Fuck, I wanted to wake up in Cartoon World! I thought I was enter- I was, I was tunneling down a, a portal into the Toon Zone. I guess not. This is where I just was. Alright, let's try this again. Escape Bendy, huh? I still don't have my axe. When are they gonna make a game where you can go into the Cartoon Zone? I guess maybe that's what Toontown was. That, uh... That MMO for 12-year-olds, Toontown. Yeah, I can't fight you. I have no axe. Oh wait, there's the axe. I was expecting I was gonna go down that tunnel. And it was gonna be like at the end of Roger Rabbit when uh, when Eddie Valiant gets to uh, he gets to Toontown. He goes to the he goes through through the the tunnel and uh, pops out in Toontown on the other side, and all the uh, all the cartoons start singing to him. I was hoping it was <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna go in that direction. No such luck today. We don't get to go to Toontown today, you guys. What? Shoot! Fuck me! It Bendy! It Bendy! Fuck it, Bendy! Shit! It's the Bendy! I hate that guy! Alright, alright. Oh my god. This game is silly. <laughs> oh! You got me? Oh, back to the... Back to the ink portal. Smile, darn you, smile. That's right, they were singing that. Smile, darn you, smile. In other words, oh, he's closer this time. Okay, this way. I can't see. This way, probably. It's so dark. All right, one more.
One more time. We'll just keep doing this. Oh, we'll just keep doing this. I got all day. Let me look around first. He's gonna pop up there, right? Yeah, ooh. This way? I'm going this way. Nope, not that way. Alright. I'm holding the shift key. I can't go any faster than I'm already going, though. It's so dark. Alright. Not today, Bendy. Alright. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Ooh. Hello? Someone there? Bacon soup. I know you're in here. Mmm, that bacon Come soup. Show yourself. <gasps> it's Dippy Dog! It's Dippy Dog! No! I can't believe that! What? Dippy Dog! It's Dippy fucking dog! <laughs> Everyone in the chat is saying Dippy dog. <laughs> chapter 3, Rise and Fall. I'll do one more chapter. You guys said there are five chapters, right? I'll do one more chapter. <laughs> it's Dippy fucking dog! Back from the dead! Of course, I don't know why he put me in here. Did he put me in here? What happened? I didn't get to talk to him or anything? I wanted to talk to Dippy Dog. I was excited to talk to Dippy Dog. Of course, it's also just really fun to say Dippy Dog over and over again. Is this where he lives? Are these his clothes? I, you know, when I see under, <laughs> when I see undies with, uh, with polka dots on them, I think goofy cartoon dogs. Obviously. Dippy, where are you? Is this your home? Have you been squatting? Is Dippy Dog a squatter? There he is! You're THE Dippy Dog! I can't believe this! Can I talk to you? Nothing. I can't do- I can't interact with you at all. Truly nothing. Come on. We don't have a conversation! You don't give me something! This is bullshit. Dippy Dog, I want to talk to you. <laughs> I got all the way here and I found you. Why can't we talk? I sit in the chair and we talk? No. You just look at me? I can't believe it. Imagine meeting a cartoon in real life for the first time and not even, not even having anything to say to them. Not even doing a little conversing. I would have so many questions. What's it like to be a cartoon character in the real world? What's it like to live in the cartoon world? How did you get here? I'm not getting out of here that easy. You need to open the door, but the lever is missing. This Always character, this character I'm playing as is just entirely uninterested in the fact that he's he's standing mere feet away from an actual cartoon character. Bullshit. How disappointing. I do not get to talk to Dippy Dog today. What do I do, though? That's so lame. I'm so excited to, to finally meet him. Why did they make a... Why did they make a big... A big production out of the reveal. You see the can rolling across the ground. And then he walks out and you say, Oh my god, it's Dippy Dog. And then in the next chapter, nothing happens. So what was the point of the reveal then? Can't open that. This is where I started. Nothing in here. Nothing. 
nothing there. Nothing in the trash. Hmm. Nothing there. Nothing with that. What do I do, Dippy? Dippy, you gotta help me. <laughs> this game is silly. <laughs> Talk to him? I'm hitting the button. Oh. Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? Why did it work so. this time? Let's see what we got. All the other times... It didn't seem to do anything. Find soup for Boris. Nah, his name is Dippy Dog. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules, but his name is definitely Dippy Dog. We're looking at a Dippy Dog situation. Situation with Dippy Dog. Alright, Dippy Dog wants food. Dippy Dog gets what he wants. Here, anything? This one I can't open. Maybe the idea is that he can't talk because he's from... He's from silent cartoons. He's from the silent film era. Is that the idea? So Dippy Dog ain't got nothing to say? Can of soup, huh? Where would I get a can of soup? Dippy wants soup, then Dippy gets soup. He's gotta have that soup. Where's the soup, Dippy? <laughs> He's goofy. He's a goofster. Here? There we go! Did I drink it? What's the objective? Find soup for Boris. Tip, find three cans of soup. I need one more. It says I have two. Okay. Oh, I can still move. How do I... Hmm. Oh, fuck. How do I exit the pause menu? I hit escape to bring up the pause menu. No, it won't go away. Press resume? I can't. I don't have control of my mouse, and also, when I hit the buttons, it still just controls the character. <laughs> skill issue? It's a skill issue that I, I broke the game. I broke the game with my skill. Well, I mean that might be complimentary in a weird in a weird sense. I'm hitting escape. It's not doing anything. What if I hit P for pause? No, that's not it. Does tab do anything? No. Dippy dog broke the game. Oh, Dippy! Dippy! Shame on you, Dippy! I was having fun and you broke my game. Damn it, Dippy! Damn it, Dippy! I swear to God, if I had my dippy gun on me right now! Well, what now? Do I really have to fucking quit? I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Is this a glitch or is it supposed to do this? Do you guys know if this is a, if this is a glitch or what? Escape truly does nothing. Which is probably a bad sign because I hit escape to bring up the pause menu. So I'm guessing that's a bad sign. Glitch? Yeah, it's a glitch. Press resume? I have no way of pressing resume. Because I can't control my mouse. My mouse is still controlling the game. Press E on Dippy? <laughs> okay. Nothing. Maybe I can just play the rest of the game like this. Is this known for uh, for being a glitchy game? It's a particularly glitchy game, is it? 
I might have to just call it here then. I've been going for two hours anyway, two and a half hours roughly. Dippy, what you do? You let me down, Dippy. Dippy, you let me down. You don't want Dippy to let you down. But... <laughs> you can still flush the toilets. <laughs> oh. All right. Toilet still flushes. Five dollars from Cream Fan 442. Would you play filthy nasty patty cake with Jessica Rabbit? Oh, I know I would. Wait, no, I wouldn't because she's married. She's she's married to Roger, and she already cheated on him once, and that was horrible. It was a horrible thing that Roger went through. Did you not? Did you not see how Roger reacted when he saw the photos of that patty cake? Did you not see? I wouldn't put Roger through that again. Even though, yeah, I wish I could with Jessica, because she is very fine, but not if it means going behind Roger's back. Now, with Roger's permission, maybe if it's with me... <laughs> maybe if it's with me and Jessica, and perhaps Roger is sitting in a chair in the corner watching, <laughs> then maybe it would be okay, as we do patty cake. <laughs> But otherwise, no way. No way. <laughs> Hit the Windows key? What's the Windows key gonna do? $11.11 from Bethany Nuts Turdwell. Thank you, Bethany. Good you, Green Heart. Thanks, you're good too. <laughs> well, what do I do? Is the game really fucked? Did I really, did I really uh, glitch out the game? Yeah, we've been going for about two and a half hours anyway. That's uh, that's usually the average length that we do these things. <sighs> Just pre press Alt F4 and it fixes it. I know what you're saying, young man. Windows key? Windows key is not going to help me now. Shift tab? That brings up... Uh, the Steam overlay. I guess I, I'm just going to have to do Alt F4 for real. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you know what? We won't be done with this. We can uh, we can pick this up next Wednesday. For the next Wicked Wednesday. You know, it's 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 perhaps not, uh, not the scariest horror game that I've played. But it's cute. It's innocent. I'm enjoying it. I like the Dippy Dog. I like Bendy. I like the ink everywhere. I like the ink machine. But you know what that means, friends. It means it's time to wind things down. Whoop. We had a few good laughs, my friends, made a few memories. And although now the fun must end, I hope you see what you mean to me. You're all my neighbors and allies, and though it's time to part, as we traverse through lows and highs, I'll keep you all inside my heart, Dippy Dog. Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long.
Well, folks, it's time for this dippy dog to dip on out of here. Time for dippy dog to do some dipping. What, what, what is his real name? Boris the Wolf? I think I like dippy dog better. I truly do. Like I said, it's just fun to say dippy dog. But that's the end of another Relax with Max, another Wednesday stream. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing on Friday, but I'll figure it out. I'd like to take a moment to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now is over 10 years of updates. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators such as source files, presets, and tutorials, and the link is in the description below. And if you're not interested in the art stuff, but you'd still like to support what I do, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube and get access to exclusive emotes in the chat. Hey, we had fun today. This was a good one. You know, I, I, I get on here, I do these streams, they don't always come out perfect. I had fun today. I really did. <laughs> it, the game is goofy, but I had fun doing it. <clears throat> but I gotta get out of here. I got shit to do. It's gonna be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Friday. What are we gonna play? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. You'll have to tune in to, to find out, I guess. And thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. So long. <laughs>